Hello, I'm Phoenix Rising. And if you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. I just want to thank you guys for watching. This is your daily read for May 2nd. But honestly, this is your daily read for whenever you watch it. Whenever the, mes the message resonates with you, it's time for you to hear it. So basically, if you click on it on May 15th, and that's when you hear it, that's when you're supposed to hear it. So spirit does things at time when it's supposed to. So, but today is May 2nd. And this is your daily read. <clears throat> and um, you can click like, subscribe. You can share me. All that good stuff. So this is my freestyle. So I kind of get to chill and relax and take my time. So, <laughs> but if you watch it, thanks for watching. Okay, guys. Here we go. So at the head of your read for your daily read. You got the world card. Um, this means successful, um, accomplished a achievements, fulfillment. This is uh, a sense of belonging, wholeness. This is like um, always remember when you're leveling up. It's like level, new levels, new devils. It gets harder. So you're leveling up. And um, that's why the world is upright. Having the world at your feet is like a new world opening up to you. New new opportunities available. This is, um, they could be endless. When you've been through so many trials and tribulations and you've endured the hardship and learned lessons in life, it's like you're ready to reap the rewards. Um, so it's like be proud of what you've achieved. It wasn't easy to get here. Accomplishments and like challenges. Finally achieving dreams. This is starting a business, getting married, having a baby. Shit, this kicking your nigga out. This getting rid of the toxic people in your life. This is celebrating accomplishments. This is like, this could be a breakup. This could be a celebration of a divorce. This could be a celebration of an ending of a friendship or ending of abuse. This is the world. Realizing that you got the world at your feet. Game over. Time to start over. With that, you got the Knight of Pentacles. This means um, common sense, responsible, hardworking. It's working for what you want and finishing what you started. It's been times I did readings for daily reading. I kept getting, you didn't finish what you started. You didn't finish. So now you, it's like you're getting up and you're going. I'm proud of you. Go, 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 go. That's the whole reason why I do it. So, hey. It's like you're getting a little, mm, this is the wish card. This is also protecting your home, which makes me think you like, you know what, y'all could get the hell out. You could get the hell out defending, putting your foot down. Somebody get like, okay, you know, you got me bent. <laughs> this could also be an earth sign. Virgo, um, Taurus, and Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. This could definitely be you. This could be a woman. The Knight of Pentacles is whoever, if you embody this feeling. This is how you're feeling. For some of you, this is a father figure. Shoot, you could be a mother taking on a father figure. This is he or she works hard to provide for their loved ones. A role model. Stubborn, honest, reliable. Working hard. To, and But this person doesn't like to show emotion. So that's why it could be you. It may not be you. It could be someone in your surrounding area. Getting back to nature. I love that. It, nature's beautiful. I'm going outside after this. It's like making wishes and dreams come true. Loyal. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But we still got work. Because <clears throat> guess what? Death is back. And death comes like every other daily read. Which means you're still holding on to something you need to get rid of. It's like you're still holding on to something that don't serve you no purpose no more. Death is back. So it's like you still have work to do. You have to find. Let go. Some stuff you're still struggling to let go. Remember it. It's coming, this is coming whether you like it or not. It's like, it's going to be a, a transition change. You know, you can hold it, but the universe is going to snatch it. Whether it be job, relationship, marriage, friendship, something you're still holding on to. Talking to somebody you're not supposed to be talking to, booty call, whatever it is. The, the universe is going to rid you of it. It's like push, let go. So hold on. Because it's coming. Six of 
wands in reverse. This is losing, failure. This is lack of achievement. This could be someone around you. And this could be the reason why you're still lacking recognition, endurance, con lacking confidence or support. This is being a follower or being hunted, which is being stalked. Someone can be definitely stalking. After you put them out with the death in reverse. And this is for someone diva, ego, arrogant, fame, hungry, disadvantage this is someone you living with or around might be disloyal this is tragedy broken promises this is ill will someone got had an ill will towards you disappointment weakness this is losing the battle and you still struggling that's why you got these two so you see how this went it's like you got the world at your feet and you can take off and you can do this shit right with these two but then you still carrying this weight of these people you don't need and that's why you feeling this disappointment and heartache still it's like you still like Ooh, i still don't feel like i should you know now i'm gonna read your oracle because i did forget to tell you that you had a question you can ask the deck and i'm gonna flip it after i read the oracle because i did forget to say that and that's phoenix problem i'm sorry sorry guys but i'm gonna give you time now now the funny thing about this card is i want to see this you know it is a seahorse i'm reading it say seahorse but it looks so much like a unicorn to me right so the story okay so the other day yesterday when i didn't do a daily read did I, well i did do it yesterday but i get okay before i did the daily read so funny i meditated and um when i was meditating i had like meditated so long that i had started to um embody myself being like in a, a forest and it was just really pretty it was a very very comforting calming relaxing place to be right but the whole time in meditation you know it's like the waterfalls i can hear the trees the wind blowing the birds chirping the butterflies i mean it was beautiful right i was like sunk in the bed i was gone okay so crazy part is that as i while i'm meditating i um uh a, a unicorn was with me the whole time from the time i started meditating to the time i ended meditation it was a white single unicorn with me the whole time, which I know there's never been any bones found of a unicorn. They're supposed to be magical creatures. So I was like, okay, so, and then I got done. So after I got done, I, it's a moral to the story, y'all, and I'm talking forever. But if you're watching my daily, you must like hearing me talk. So listen. So after that, I'm like, okay, so, um, I'm like, why unicorn? Why unicorn? You know, I haven't really been into unicorns, even when I was little. They're nice. I just, you know. So, I listen to um, Sarah Roberts, Jake, T.D. Jake's daughter, like, every day. Like, she's ministry. I love Sarah Roberts, right? So, I'm just letting you guys know. Like, watch Sarah Roberts. She has a YouTube channel. She is, like, the bomb, right? Especially if you're in an abusive situation dealing with um, a narcissist or anything dealing with, like, suicide, sadness. Sarah Roberts, Jake's. T.D. Jake's daughter. You can find her on YouTube. But, however... So I listened to her for an hour because that's how I go to church, right? So after I got done, it's so funny. My um, I'm sitting right here because this is my altar. This is where I pray at. And a poster that I bought from Walmart rose from under my desk. Now, mind you, I bought it like two weeks ago. I didn't open it. It was the last one in the bunch. It was like the only poster that because I wanted to change the background right here, right? It's up high. You can't really see it. I have to show you guys later, but it looks just like this. So it's so funny. I got the I got. In meditation, the white unicorn. Then I got the poster that I went and bought before that. And then I got this today for your daily read. And I thought that was just beautiful. So, to me, it just brings hope and it's light. And they mention unicorns in the Bible. But there has been none ever found, you know, like, on earth. No bones or anything. And that's neither here, here or there. I am a magical being because that's just who I am. Um, I manifest. I pray. And... Things just happen, so I wouldn't care what nobody thought. You know, that was me and my um in my own little world. So sometimes, you know, you just gotta find your peace and serenity to find guidance and clarification for certain things. You know, you can pray and ask for answers, but you have to be open to receiving them. And to me, that is when you meditate. And I know sometimes people don't know how to meditate. So if you need to learn, you know, you can email me and I'll help you. I don't mind doing that. It does help so much with dealing with a narcissist, okay? Or dealing with stressful situations that people use and abusing you. Especially if you feel like you're an empath. Because I'm definitely an empath. So I pick up on everything. Okay? So everything is emotions for me. So, um... But however, this is a seahorse. This is not a unicorn. But here you go. 
And here's your oracle, because I've talked your ear off. As you embrace your inner essence, you will be at peace with who you are, including your vulnerability. And no longer see the need to conform to social ideas which have no true answers or resolutions for your heart. You are encouraged to trust your intuitive intuition, recognizing at which environment of relationships harmony will with you. So you got harmonious relationships in, in your environment coming. You just got to be patient. Supporting your spiritual growth and well-being on all levels is what's coming. The harmony, the peace. You are capable to manifest what you want in your present reality. Relax and you shall attract all you need. I like this. I was just reading. Sometimes I give you like several paragraphs. So let me make sure there's nothing else I need to tell you guys. Cause hold on. In such in... Wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, no, that's not it. Let me turn the page. Seahorse. Because they give you like a lot of stuff. Okay, so here's the healing for the seahorse. Because that's what's most important. <clears throat> Take a moment to place your hand on your heart. And imagine feet intend to desire to really connect to your true inner self. You can imagine going beneath the layers of an appearance and outer self into the inner realm of your soul. So, basically, I'm sorry, guys. I'm still reading. So, basically, it's um, telling you that, um, I'm going to read it one more time. Take a moment to place your hand on your heart and imagine and feel, intend, and desire to really connect to your true inner self. To your inner self. No one else's. No one else's thoughts. No one else's what they want you to do. Just you. What you want. Your inner self. You can't imagine going beneath the layers of your appearance and your outer self into an inner realm of your soul. It says to say aloud, I trust in the uniqueness, beauty, higher purpose, and perfect inner potential that I am. I surrender into an unconditional loving acceptance that the Spirit has for me. Heed the encouragement to be my true self. I do not need to adapt, compromise, or alter myself to be liked by anyone else. My true nature is divine and desired. And I seek to cast all ego concepts like old clothes standing peacefully, unshackled in your own true nature. From this place of truth, I feel connected to my heart. I can easily attract all I desire from this place of authentic, authentic I cannot say authenticness <laughs> and integrity. May all beings know such peace comfort and love you can rest in this connection with yourself hand on your heart if you choose for as long as you feel right for you then ground and hydrate you have completed your healing process that was beautiful you can just rewind me if you need to read it out loud but you do need to say it i thought that was beautiful and here is your answer to your question no, dear. Nothing too serious, remember? So, on uh, Phoenix Rising, here's your daily read. I hope you guys enjoy. You can click like, subscribe. You can share me. And remember, you're doing the work now. I'm not fussing at you. But we still got ways to go. So, guess what that means? I'll be back tomorrow with your daily read. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. Because my boyfriend just came in. Well, my man, because I can't call him. I'm too old for that. But however, um, we're going to do a um, video tonight or either tomorrow. So over the weekend, it's going to be called Couples Talk. So because um, it'll be two years we'll be together in December. So I feel like we've reached a point to give some good advice. And I know that's not going to a long time, but me being divorced twice and him, 
you know, being in several relationships previous to me, I feel like we've reached a point that we can give some advice and we can answer some questions if you guys want to email me. But we're going to record ourselves. We're going to talk freely this evening about um, just relationships, how we got together, the the things that the battles that we had, you know, um, like personality clashing things. We all the same sign though. We're both Sagittarius, so. But just in general, just things you know um, that couples go through, and um, how we deal with them. You know, exes, kids. You know, ex-husbands, baby mamas. Not getting along. You know, all those types of things that people don't talk about. And I feel like you know we get along very, very well. Um, since, you know, we're in COVID nineteen, and like as I said, and it's no, it's no shade to you or anyone else. We in lockdown, so I'm in lockdown with him, and I'm fine with that. And I'm like not. Uh, like, like I'm not going crazy to the point I got to get out of here and get away from him. Like we stay in lockdown, so because we're we're an introvert, so we're always in the house. So this doesn't bother me. But I know that it is upsetting to other people, and I'm I'm I get that. I'm an empath, so I feel you. So because I am in lockdown with someone I truly care about, and I'm okay with it. I would like for you to be that way next time this ever happens with this pandemic. So I feel the need to tell you to make sure you watch that video. Um, it'll just be called, it, I'm going to probably call it couples therapy. That's what it's going to be called. So look in the library for couples therapy. And we're just going to talk freely. And like I said, if you want to email us and ask us questions, we're open. That's fine. So, but, um, I'm Phoenix. This is Love and Light. I'm sending you guys and I hope you have a beautiful day. Um, and I hope I've been a help to your, your life, your, your everything, your career, your love life, anything you need to help with. I hope I've been a help with and come back and see me tomorrow. Um, I'll be finishing the career reads. The next up, I just posted Scorpio. So Cancer's next. And then I have to do Libra, Leo, and... Wait, is that it? Leo, Libra, Cancer. So you guys know what's left. I think that's it. Um... Yeah, I did Aries. Yeah, I think I just got three left because I just posted Scorpio. So, okay, so look for those. And uh, any, you know, any of the other ones in the library, you could go in my library. I have the love readings I do for um, all the signs, general. General read for all the signs, love readings, single, couples. And I also do the career reads. And then I do the daily reads. So, and I'm going to be doing cups too, which is like, um... Most people born between the 18th and the 23rd of each month have a different reading. So I'm going to be doing those too. So after I'm done with the careers, I'll be moving on the cups and then I'll go back to general and then I'll go back to love. So I'm going to be everywhere. Okay. So, but share me, um, you know, check me out, send me to someone and have a good day. I've talked to you guys. I got to run though. I'm Phoenix Rising. Bye guys.